In a previous lesson, I showed how we could actually organize our library and prioritize our resources, as well as open our resources in order to find those uh, key texts that are going to be important for our language studies. Uh, in this lesson, I'd like to show how we can not only open these resources again, but how we can link them together, uh, change their views, and create our own custom layouts that we can save and come back to time and time again. So in order to open this, let's begin by opening one of our original language texts from our library. And if you remember how to do that, we can go up to the library icon. And within the find bar, let's go ahead and type type colon Bible and then lang colon Hebrew. And this will show us just our Hebrew Bibles. And then once again, we can get rid of all of the Dead Sea Scrolls by typing the minus sign series dead. So now we're left with a small list of Hebrew Bibles. So if we'd like to open the Lexham Hebrew Bible, we can simply click on the title within the library, and that will open our Hebrew Bible within our layout. There are easier ways to open our Bibles than going to the library and typing all of those commands into the find box. Uh, one of the easiest ways is to actually go up to the command bar here in the top center of our layout and simply type the, type the acronym for the Bible we want to open. So if we wanted to open the English Standard Version, we can type ESV into the command box and notice how it brings an option Open English Standard Version. Simply hit Enter and it'll open the English Standard Version. And notice that it opens to the exact same verse that we currently have open in our Hebrew Bible. If we wanted to open a Greek Bible as well, we can once again go back up to the command bar and let's say I want to open the Nessel Alan 28th edition. We can type NA28 First option is open Nestle Alon Greek New Testament 20th edition. Hit enter and it will open the Nestle Alon 28th edition as well. Notice that it opens this original language text in the same panel as our Hebrew Bible and has tabbed these two Bibles in the same panel. So now we can switch back and forth between them depending on which uh, uh, testament we are currently located. Now, we can actually make these even easier to get to by creating what are called shortcuts. Notice up here in the top of my Logos layout, I already have a shortcut called Close All. If we want to create new shortcuts for resources, all we need to do is simply just drag the resource panel up to the shortcuts bar and drop it in. So if we want to make a shortcut of the English Standard Version, simply click it, drag it up, and drop it into the shortcuts bar. Notice now we have an icon here that will open the English Standard Version. We can do the same thing for our Hebrew and Greek Bible. So for our Hebrew Bible, we can click and drag it up and drop it in. And for our Greek Bible, do the same thing. Notice now we have shortcuts for each of our prioritized or favorite Bibles, an English, Hebrew, and Greek Bible. Now we can open them by just simply clicking on the link in the shortcuts bar. One other thing we may want to do is to actually link our English and Greek or Hebrew Bibles together. Notice that when we scroll our Greek Bible here, our English Bible is not scrolling along with it. They're not linked together. We can easily link them together by going up to the resource panel menu where the book icon is, and in the menu that appears, go to Link Set and set this one to Link Set A. Notice when we do this, we get a little orange A icon over the book. Let's do the same thing to our English Bible, put it in link set A, and notice what happens. It snaps to the same verse as our Greek Bible. Now as we scroll through our Bible, our two Bibles will stay in link set with one another. Notice now that our Hebrew Bible is not scrolling along one because it's in the Old Testament, it's Hebrew, but also because it's not in the same link set. So if we were to put this in the same link set, link set A, notice what happens to our English Bible. It'll snap with the Hebrew Bible now right back to the Old Testament. If we go back to our Greek Bible, and let's say we go back to John 3.16, our English Bible will follow right along. So that's a way that you can easily link all of your Bibles together. Now, if we wanted to add even more to this layout, let's say we wanted to add something like a lexicon to our layout. We can easily access any of our Greek lexicons. One of the easiest ways to open up a Greek lexicon is actually just to hover over a Greek word. For this instance, I'm in John 3.16, and I'm going to hover over the word monogenē, or the, the lemma monogenēs. 
Remember when we prioritized our Hebrew or and Greek lexicons in the previous lesson? Well, we can double click on any Greek word or Hebrew word and it will open our prioritized Hebrew or Greek lexicon. So I had prioritized BDAG in my library before. So if I double click on Monogene, notice what happens. It opens BDAG directly to that entry for the lemma of the word that I just clicked on. Now, if we don't like our lexicon being over the top of our English Bible, we can drag it into a new location. To change the location of any resource within your Logos layout, it's as simple as clicking the resource panel tab and dragging it to a new location. I'm going to put this at the very bottom of my layout and drop it in. Now you can also resize it by clicking in between all of the resources and just clicking and dragging. Let's say we want to add one last thing to this layout. One of the things I love to see is instant information about any word. If you run a search from the home page, one of the panels that automatically opens is called the information panel. I really like having this panel available in my layouts. So how can we get it added in? Well, we can quickly do this by going up to the tools menu and within the tools menu under the lookup section, we can find the information. Now we can click information to open it or one of the better ways when creating custom layouts is to click and drag it out of the toolbox. So let's click information and drag it down and position it in the same panel as our lexicon. Now when we mouse over any word like monogenese, notice what happens. We get instant information that provides us with translations of this word within their different English translations, who this word refers to, in the context that it's used, as well as quick lexical information like a pronunciation, the lemma, a transliteration, a quick English gloss, as well as, look at this, our prioritized Greek lexicon. We can click on this link for BDAG, and once again it opens up directly to the entry for the Greek word. Now if we really like this layout and we want to come back to it time and time again, we can save it just how we've opened it. The way that we do that is we go up to the layouts menu in the top right hand corner, and notice that we have a bunch of thumbnails here. The very top thumbnail is our current layout as we have it open. Below that we have different app, uh, layout uh, tabs like application closed or if you change between different layouts it'll take snapshots of these different layouts. The way that we save our current layout is by clicking on save as named layout and then we name it. Let's name this our language study layout and then hit enter. And as soon as we've saved our layout, notice that we now have our layout available to us on the left-hand side or in the left-hand pane of the Layouts menu. Let's go ahead and close our menu, let our resources sync, and let's go ahead and close all. Now, notice what we can do. Let's go back to the Layouts menu and select Language Study Layout. Logos will open our layout exactly how we last left it. It's easy to create layouts within Logos Bible software, and you can create as many different layouts for as many different purposes as you desire. Now that we've created layouts and saved them and are able to pull them back up again, we can go even further in customizing this layout to create a more visually appealing sense. Notice right now that our Bible versions are currently in what's called paragraph view, where everything is in block text and it's split up into different paragraphs, depending on how the publisher of that particular Bible version has determined it. Perhaps we don't want these paragraph breaks, and, and perhaps we also want our text to line up a little bit more cleanly between our English Bible version and our original language text. Notice as I'm scrolling through my original language text, it doesn't always very cleanly line up between the two verses. Well, we can easily adjust this by going up to what's called the Visual Filters icon button within the Resource Panel toolbar. It's the little triple circle button. If we click that, the option that we're really interested in is what's called Bible Text Only. From this, we can adjust how the Bible text is going to appear to us. If we click Bible Text Only, notice what happens to our Nestle Aland Greek text. It adjusts it based upon which options we have selected down below. Now there are a couple of options that I would highly recommend having checked for this purpose. One is called chapter and verse numbers and the other is one verse per line. What this does is it allows the Bible verse number to be visible as well as splits up each verse into its own individual line. Now we can choose to have every single Bible have these same filter options by going to the blue arrow to the right hand side of it and in the drop down box select show in all appropriate resources. 
If we don't want a particular thing like non-Bible text to appear, click it and say do not show in any resources and we'll want to do this for each individual option. Now what we've just done is we've allowed all of our Bibles to show these same options. Now if we want to turn on Bible text only for every single Bible version in our library, we can do the same thing here. Show in all appropriate resources. Notice what happens to our ESV as soon as we click this. It has now changed to the same Bible formatting option as our Greek text. And notice how nice and lined up these verses are now. Now we can scroll through each particular verse and our Bibles will stay nice and in sync across as we scroll through. There's one other visual filter I want to turn on for all of our Bibles. It's called Sympathetic Highlighting. Go back up to the Visual Filters icon and find the option called Sympathetic Highlighting. To the right of it, click the blue arrow and make sure you select Show in All Appropriate Resources. What this allows us to do now is highlight or select any section of text within our original language Bible and the corresponding text will also be highlighted in our English version. Now this will actually be highlighted in every single Bible version that we have available within our layout. We can do the same thing with the English text. Maybe we want to see what the Greek text is. All you do is select a section of text in the English and it will highlight the corresponding text in the Greek or the Hebrew depending on which uh, version we have open. So hopefully this was helpful for you in showing you how you can create quick layouts uh, for your language studies, how you can save them for later use, and then how you can further edit and change the way that your biblical text is, view is viewed so that way you can have a experience that is more catered to your personal study habits and not to someone else's. Enjoy studying your original languages. Until next time.